Plaintiff Ty Landrum says after an accident with a table saw, he was prescribed pain pills, and he ended up getting addicted. Ty claims he eventually cleaned up his act for the sake of his children, and he's suing his former friend today for unpaid wages. Defendant Nate Perry had a rough life and was diagnosed with ADHD at an early age. Nate claims his life was horrible after he was the victim of a home invasion and his mom passed away, but he was able to pick himself up and get his life back on track. So he's countersuing Ty for stolen and damaged property. Start with you, sir. All right, it started, well, growing up, I was just a uh, typical boy, played football, baseball, basketball, graduated high school, and uh, I meet Nate. Throw a little opioid in between. Go ahead, you meet Nate. Uh -huh. well, 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 I met Nate and uh, showboat Nate, that's what people call him, but uh, me and Nate click, we became good friends. Uh, um, Meantime, like uh, like you're saying, I guess the opioids, but uh, hold on, <laughs> don't, don't skip past hold that so you. don't skip past that so quick. <laughs> you know, I mean, like you say, the opioids. I know. I mean, <laughs> Tell me what happened to you, sir, and how you struggling well, and how you worked with that. People uh, want to know how you overcame it. Okay, well, I was working with my dad, right, and uh, my fingers got caught in the table saw, and they prescribed me pain medicine. Well. Me and Nate were always partying, drinking, smoking, uh, chasing girls, you know what I mean? Just what young guys do. Uh, got a little out of hand with the opioids, then um, me and a longtime girlfriend. What one did you start with first, Vicodin, or what did you start with? Uh, uh, they prescribed with a Vic they, Vicodin. Yeah, they, Vicodin, yes, sir. And then what? To uh, or no, no, Percocet? just Percocet, what? and then that was a, just what they prescribed. Okay. Then. It's just hard to get off, but. All right, well, okay, that's what some folks say, but it also sounds like you were enjoying yourself recreationally. So you tell me um, what you've been doing to try and get off. Well, I wish like the doctor would have not gave me as many as he gave me, but anyways, I, uh, I've done it all. I went through the Suboxone program, stuff like that, and, then, and that's what really saved everything, you know what I mean? But. Me personally, I've been with a girl for like 10, 11 years. We had three little boys, and that's really what changed it all for me. Then I started my business, and um, what type of business? Still remain, uh, I do home, anything like home repair, uh, contracting work. Okay. Is that where you know the defendant from? Uh, no, but we both went into the same line of work. Okay, and when did you all meet? Uh, met. Uh, soon as I was out of high school, 2004. And you all long-term friends, okay. I've been with a girl for like 10, 11 years. We had three little boys, and that's really what changed it all for me. Then I started my business, and um, what type it, it of business? Still remain, uh, I do home, anything like home repair, uh, contracting work. Okay. Is that where you know the defendant from? Uh, no, but we both went into the same line of work. Defendant Nate Perry is being sued by his former friend, who admits he became addicted to pain pills after an accident with a table saw. And why don't you give me some background, perhaps on your friendship? Um, you know, from the start, uh, rough. We we share a bond, actually. You know, um, you and I. Yes. Uh, the rough street from street life as absolutely. a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, go to school. I'm already behind. Uh, diagnosed with ADHD. That alone, I'm categorized now. And see, that's the problem with a stigma. I didn't determine until I was an adult that I had attention deficit. And some, you may have been told, depending on the extent of its intensity, for lack of a better term, some can grow out of it and be very good multi-managers or multi-taskers. You're smiling because that's the case probably with you. And so my success came because I was a multi-tasker. And I always thought 
a lot of myself as people who watch today. <laughs> they gonna say, well, he always thinking a lot of himself. He got an ego, won't even fit in the courtroom. Yeah, Fine. Really. Yeah, that's what got me where I'm at. So right there. You got a big ego that's too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt better and I still wonder why am I categorized? I'm 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 not yeah. that. Yeah. You're putting me you're putting me in this small box and it's I'm way outside. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> because Parents and young people need to know yes. that it's really a success story. Yes, uh, that they alone. put you in a box, you broke out of that box and became a successful businessman. Tell me about your business. You have a business? Uh, yes, I'm a um, real estate investor. Uh, once again, multitasking. Um, reaching out uh, several businesses from that. Um, hence, you know, with a friend, uh, trying to just build. So I wanna do build. Um, I spent years, uh, it, was, it was always rough. Single parent home, once again, all the obstacles that are there. It was uh, tough to control you as a kid. Absolutely, mom. and um, Same with with, uh, mother always gone at work, no guidance. Since no guidance, you're, you're outside now. So I'm outside. Um, that caught up with me. You were probably violent. Absolutely. Uh, I was a victim of a home invasion robbery. During that time, my mother is ill. She's passing away from colon cancer. Mm. How old were you? Uh, 23. Of it. How long did she have it? Uh, about a year. Mm. And how did it change your life? Uh, For the good or the bad? What happened? Uh, Started out horrible, um, you know, just didn't know how to take take it at all. Mm -hmm. But that same pain is with you. That same pain is my success story. Yeah. Passing that, that's what drove. There you go. There you go. That 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 was the minimum behind. Straight ahead. So you do know something about me. <laughs> absolutely. We share the same yeah, story. Mine was eighteen. Yours was twenty three. Yeah. Mother died of colon cancer. Yeah. In one year. Yeah. I was a teenager. Yeah. Fresh out of jail. Same story. Having to take care of her. Yeah. The biggest trauma of my life, yeah. even as we speak. Absolutely. However, like you did, you used it as an inspiration to change your life. And so you and I can tell these young folks, troubled youth, uh, that and others, when you lose a loved one, take it and flip the effect. Yes. You're going to be traumatized, but be traumatized enough to want to prove something to your mother and to yourself. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Defendant Nate Perry is being sued by his former friend who admits he became addicted to pain pills after an accident with a table saw. All right, so let me hear from you, sir, on why you're suing him for the wages. All right, he's getting a lot of claps now, so it's my turn. That's right! Uh, <laughs> Nate, um, in October last year, Nate uh, called me and said, Hey, Ty, uh, we got this job. If you want to um, take... Uh, if you want to go in on it with me, uh, he's going to subcontract it to me. So I was like, yeah, no problem. Well, the job was to cut out three garage doors out of a concrete building. So first door, we were doing each door one week and a half. What was the agreement on payment? $4,500. For the entire amount? For, yep, for, for your all assistance. three doors. Okay. It would be three weekends. It would be the first weekend, first door, and so on and so on. Okay. Nate was supposed to bring a bobcat and a dump trailer to the job. Nate brought a dump trailer the first time. That was it. No bobcat. So now that's leaving me and my guys to load everything by hand. Puts a lot of more labor on the job, you know what I mean? So I should have charged him more. But anyways... The first week goes good. Da, da, da. Well, Nate, he um, dropped the trailer off, and uh, he calls me and said, hey, did you get the trailer? I was like, get the trailer? What are you talking about? He's like, the trailer's missing. I don't know where it's at, you know what I mean? I mean, it's full of concrete. I don't know how it's missing. Well, 
it, the trailer has controls on it and it was locked in the lockbox. Well, Nate's the only one with the keys. There's no way for me to take the trailer anyway. To, so um, Nate says, well, if you want to do number two garage door, you're going to have to go rent a trailer. So I had to go rent a trailer, and um, he sends one of his crew to come drop the bobcat off. And as soon as they pulled the bobcat off a trailer, it all the oil just came out the bottom of it. It blew up. Out of what? The out of the bobcat. bobcat. Yeah. So now that's the second garage door. No bobcat. So then I purchased, rented a dump trailer. So that's. Two times he didn't come with his word, you know what I mean? That's, I'm doing a job, like, it's taking three times the amount of work to do it. I mean... So you say, what happened to the first trailer? The first trailer, I guess it got stolen. Oh, please, you know you stole that thing to get high. Let me hear from you, sir. <laughs> oh. um, uh, Tell me about the I, whole I, I trend, the deal. agreement, and what occurred I, as... A, I had an uh, agreement with an with outside client for $6,000 and some change. Uh, called Ty, he's a good worker. Um, can't take that away from him. Guys, he's got with him, everybody. So I subcontract the job to him. Uh, did I, I steal your trailer, Nate? You? Yeah. No. And you know I was kidding with you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you I know, that kind of went deep you. there. But I didn't <laughs> believe you would do that. No. Uh, uh, go ahead. Um, but, but the problem with that is, is the trailer's missing, so I, we're, you know, we're both hot. It's heads. under his supervision last. Yeah, I'm, I'm under, the, you know, the idea. I'm, uh, my first start in business is with, is construction work. Mm-hmm. And with construction work, you drop something. When I say drop something, you will leave equipment somewhere. Um, I drop that, you hide a key, always. I didn't make that aware that I hid the key. But usually in that circumstance, um, they don't put it the under person the mat. To, yeah, the person will take the key and they'll hide it under wherever they. Did you tell him that's what you did? No. That was your mistake. Absolutely. Go ahead. But um, what occurred, and what was your discussion regarding what occurred? As far as the um, property being stolen. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he called me, I was. <laughs> I'm, now I'm done. You know, before we even start. You know, I any way I look at it. Him, why don't you think you're responsible for paying him if this is what occurred? Uh, where the where the job was at, it's located in a, in an in a area that I didn't think people would be back there to steal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that, you know, that, <laughs> right, absolutely. So you got some areas that people don't steal, oh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know where that is. That's where I thought it was. Okay, because no, what but, state are you from? Ohio. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, they certainly steal in Shaker Heights. Absolutely. That upscale suburban neighborhood. Absolutely. Stay away from them thieves in the uh, suburbs. Yeah. Them upscale thieves. Yeah. High, Upper uh, income. High class thieves. <laughs> yeah, um, so assuming that he knows where the keys are at, it comes up missing. My only, at this point. What's your theory of what happened to the key? Honestly, Your Honor, yes. it, it, it doesn't matter. I, I, yes, it does. You have to have a theory. I, I, Otherwise, I, he, I don't know what to believe. I, I, I got to yeah, go with a person who does and have that's a where, theory. That's where I'm, I'm at with it is I don't know what to believe. Defendant Nate Perry is being sued by his former friend, who admits he became addicted to pain pills after an accident with a table saw. This is the problem you have. If he's able to prove he's the victim of a third-party crime, meaning he did nothing wrong, then it's not his responsibility. He's not held responsible. However, if he neglected to do something right, then he's responsible. And in this case, however, if you didn't tell him where the key was, I'm not hearing where he did anything wrong. He only had a responsibility if he had possession. A car without a key is not possession of that car. Right. So, because you can't move it. You can't possess something that can at least be 
move. And so to that extent, I'm saying you have to have a theory. Otherwise, we have to go with his theory. Go ahead. Uh, the theory is that, you know, um, like I said, construction background, you, you drop people's equipment off somewhere. Uh, the way I look at it is you're responsible, wherever it's at. It could be in Shaker Heights. If you let them know, that's where you, if you let them know where you've put it and you let them know in a way in which they are able to, uh, to, to move it. Yes, yeah. um, as far as, the, as, far as the key, it, you know, uh, that's, that's the mistake. Um, like I said, construction background, okay. you leave the Tell key Tell me in about it, how he owes you it. for the wages. Owes me for the wages. I mean, he got three garage doors put in and no complaints. Everybody loved them. It went in well. Uh, what do you say to that, sir? Why haven't you paid him? <laughs> uh, just the loss itself. Okay. Yeah. And your counterclaim for the loss, stolen and damaged property. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. What is it? How much? Just uh, that'd I mean, be thirty. What all did he damage? Just the damage, uh, eleven hundred. For what? What happened? A uh, line was broken. Um, and in order, when that line breaks, it breaks the cylinder itself down below. Bobcat, like your, your skid steer, like a lift. Got it. How long did you have it? I never had it at all. He, his team brought it over. What makes you think he's responsible for it? Just being that it was on the job site. Just being once there. Again, you know, <laughs> once again, <laughs> Once it leaves my hands. Come on, man. Once much as they did that to you back in the day, then you should be doing that to him. Uh, I'm going to charge you. Why are you charging me? I ain't right. doing anything. Because right. you were with him. Yeah. So you can't just charge a man because he was there. <laughs> Fishing. <laughs> I would uh, dismiss right. your claim, sir. You have no evidence that he stole, and I'm not going to grant you damage. You don't have evidence that he damaged it. And based on the testimony, even your own testimony, you said you failed to tell him where the key was, and you say that was a mistake. I haven't heard anything he did that was a mistake. I have heard your mistake. Yeah. So I'm going to grant him his judgment, and I'm going to have to dismiss your claim. All right, good luck to you. Hey, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> hey, um, man, Rocco, Rise, Rexton, they're all out there working, man. I, I know. Just don't. Hey, no Clayton, one got paid. Clayton, everybody, you know, uh, I would never, here's the thing, this is what they have to get out of all this. Still my best friend, I love you to death. Give him a dear. There is no money involved. Okay.